Hello friends, I'm Om and today I'm going to tell you the best Nest distros for laptop. So, let's get started. We all know that using Linux on a laptop is really a mess and especially when it comes to battery life, performance and stability. Plus most of the time, you don't have the right proprietary drivers due to all the stuff going on with Ubuntu and Fedora. But there are some distros which works just great and solve all these problems and gives you better results than any other operating system and sometimes even better than Windows. And those distros are Pop! OS from System76, Nobara Linux, Linux Mint, Linux Mint Debian Edition, Vanilla OS and last but not the least Ubuntu LDS. Now listen to me. These all distros do solve all most of the Linux laptop issues, but you're gonna use only one distro for daily purpose, right? So you need to choose carefully, cause most of them are specially designed to work better for a specific purpose, which I'll explain to you one by one. So let's start with Pop OS. If you don't know, Pop OS also comes in some laptops designed by System76, which means this operating system is specially designed to work on laptop and it is based on the LTS version of Ubuntu. So you don't have to worry about stability and a lot of features are extra added, especially for laptop. And if you have an Nvidia GPU, then Pop OS might be the best operating system for you. And it works best on anything like gaming, coding, professional work like video editing, anything, it can handle anything without any flaw. So if you want to consider this true for daily purpose on a laptop, then Pop OS might be the best. But if you want to work specifically for like coding in development or I should say content creation, then Nobara Linux is the best because it has a lot of patches which works really great with GPUs and CPUs, even if I'm talking about the integrated ones. But as a person who's literally new to Linux and want to use Linux as the daily driver on a laptop, for those people, Linux Mint is the best with its user-friendly interface and better user experience than most of the Linux distros for newcomers and for those people who are switching from Windows to Linux. But some of you might say that Ubuntu is its base so it might not be that great and it is completely true that Ubuntu isn't that great and for those people, Linux Mint Debian Edition exists and as the name says, it's based on Debian which means LMD is currently the most stable Linux distros now. So you will not have to worry about any issues once you set up the operating system. But a large portion of Linux users want a Linux distro which is powerful and gives you advanced features over other Linux distributions. For them, Vanilla OS is the best for laptop. And now if you ask me, Nix OS isn't that great for laptops and that is why I'm saying Vanilla OS cause I've tried that on laptop. While in terms of Vanilla OS, it works really great. Like you won't have to worry about battery life and most importantly, it is immutable. So it is also one of the most stable Linux distros in this list. Then last but not the least, Ubuntu. Wait wait wait, don't leave the video. Let me explain. Ubuntu is really not that great when it comes to laptops, but still, I'm talking about Ubuntu's LTS release. And for a normal user who's literally, you know, casually using Linux, for them, Ubuntu might be the choice. Because as you already know, Ubuntu gives you great battery life, a good working environment, a good desktop, and not that cutting edge applications. So you won't have to worry about stability that much cause it's LTS already. And yes, it might not be the best but if none of the above ones are working for you, then you can try Ubuntu's LTS release. And did you know a new variety of Linux distros is now here, Atomic. And it is actually some kind of similar to immutable desktop but a lot different than them. And I'll cover this topic in my next video. So. Subscribe and I hope you have found this video helpful and if you do then subscribe for daily dose of awesome next content uploaded on this channel and I will meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm home signing out.